So in working with trauma, uh, from our perspective, it's very clear that our goal is to help our clients feel what was intolerable, unsafe, um, unacceptable to feel at the time of these key events, these key pivotal experiences that have shaped model of self and other, but this time not alone. EFT is a relational model, whether we're working with individuals, couples, or families, and our interventions are absolutely emotion-focused and relational. And I'll say more about that as I introduce some of these key interventions. So the specific goals of EFT to mobilize this innate, um, organic um, in capacity to grow and to connect in um, our most important relationships. First of all, what we do is we tune in, we pay attention to these key pivotal experiences that have shaped model of self and other. We begin to um, help our clients expand their capacity by sharing um, about um, some of these experiences in a way that uh, it doesn't overshoot their window of capacity, but begins to stretch it and expand it. We then help them to move into what we would describe as um, corrective emotional experiences, and those are particularly um, effective and powerful in stage two of the model. Once our clients have some expanded capacity, they can move into emotion for longer periods and at deeper levels. All the studies that we've done um, in EFT, sorry, in EFT um, have used the experiencing scale that some of you might be familiar with by Klein and Jenlin and others. And it's basically based on the work of Jenlin, Eugene Jenlin, who wrote the focusing book and um, talks about the fact that when people are in a deep level of experience, level four and above, they're like in an, in an absorbed state. The, they, those protective strategies melt away and they can actually go into the experience. And as our clients move into that experience, that there's um, a capacity for felt shifts to occur, uh, for corrective emotional experiences to occur. And again, from a, an EFIT point of view, basically what those are is being able to feel what was unsafe, um, there was no capacity to feel at the time of that experience, but this time not alone. So when we think about emotion uh, being um, what moves us, what mobilizes us, it makes sense then that when we look um, for blocks, it's um, key moments that are de key defining moments, key identif identity uh, defining moments where people had to shut down or reactively intensify their experience in order to tolerate that, to survive that. And when we go back into those and um, support our clients in feeling some of those emotions, um, so too sits the self and the self begins to expand. So we talk about expanding the self and we do that by helping our clients move into their experience, uh, their, their emotional experience and sharing that again, coherently and directly with some key other. In EFIT, that key other can be an imaginal figure, it can be a younger aspect of self, it could be the therapist, could be a spiritual figure. In couple therapy, of course, we've always used the partner. But I'll say more about that as we um, move along and I'll, I'll demonstrate that, it'll make a lot more sense. 